Okay, hi, Isa here. Um, yeah, I think I may be reaching the limit of what this uh, hacked up theme can can handle. Um, I figured a way around my issue, um, trying to do different things here, is if, and this is just one of the sliders that I've created in the essay slider, is um, so I go, if this slide pop-up worked, you know, because I can actually embed videos in there. And I actually went and bought this pro version. Uh, it was only like 10 bucks. And I put it in and installed it and enabled it. And it didn't work. This thing still says that it needs the pro version. Um, you know, I actually wrote the guy that, uh, you know, has this plug-in. And he responded back saying, yeah, no, it's, you know, that just install the new one and the new one will take over. So that's what I did. And not only did this not work, but now if I go to the home screen, see now, you know, before I installed this, these, all these images were like right up taunt against each other. Now there's a big gap in between them. You know, I actually went through the other day and redid this. Uh, so it just has the links and it's much faster now and was working fine. But now for some reason it has this gap. And also you notice up here, hopefully you can see this. It's actually putting the slide number in the URL and I can't get into the dashboard while this thing is kind of sliding around because it keeps. So what I have, you have to do is you have to pause the slider by actually you know, hovering over it and get this to stop long enough to put in WP admin. It was, uh, but you know, in here, if I do things like edit page, I mean, this doesn't work at all now. I mean, it just kind of, you know, I can't see it, but it's kind of spinning. And then, uh, oh, there it went in. Okay, well, <laughs> before it wasn't even even letting me in. Um, so I mean, I don't know what's what's going on with this thing. I mean, is the fact that the um, pro version is that just because of the, the crappy, um, uh, you know, uh, theme? Um, I actually went in see if I can get this here. See, so yeah, this is the C panel in here. It actually shows that it has the diva. And it has something here called Ghost EZSC. And what I did is I actually have another site that has a true diva theme. And I zipped it up and put it here, but I'm not sure. But I'm, uh, you know, I almost want to pull the trigger on this, but I don't know what it's going to do. Uh, is it going to just totally blow up my site if, if you know, I, if I change the theme or break a bunch of stuff? So, I mean, this thing is just going... Um, all out weird on me right now and if you could take a look at it and give me your opinion on what I think you knew but I need to get at least get this thing limping along um, because I have that I'm going to be promoting this on stage at a you know a seminar here in about uh, well be well this week this coming up week so um, I really can't afford to have this to have this thing blow up on me um, let me know what you think. Uh, sorry for rambling on and such, but um, if you need to get hold of me, I probably won't be on front of my computer. Best way to get hold of me is either email me or um, um, go to that text app, whatever, what app uh, might be, But because uh, I have some uh, guests and stuff coming over here pretty quick, so I'm not going to be in front of my computer. But if you could kind of take a look at this and see what's going on, Right now, the pro version of the plugin. I'll just show you this. Maybe this. Um, is actually I actually disabled it. Here's the the free version. This is the pro. I was thinking maybe maybe if I, I need to deactivate this one and activate that one. I, I you know I thought about that, but then I you know I'm just going to leave this alone um, until you tell you look at it and you tell me what you think is the best course of action. Okay, um, all right, let, let me know what you think. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.